Let's talk about blanket offers. This is a common part of my marketing matrix. What I'll do is I'll put out an offer to see what happens. And I put out an offer, no one buys it. That means it's just not compelling enough. It is what it is. It will humble you, but I do that all the time. I'll put out an offer and it doesn't work. Now I put out an offer and it does work, then I see who and what actually takes traction because essentially I know you would think that price has a lot to do with it. Actually it doesn't. Price has a lot to do with the audience that you've cultivated. And part of cultivating your audience is to cultivate an audience with the financial wherewithal to build and to contribute to your success. This is one of the things that I'm doing now. Currently, I have no, I got $150 product, uh, no $90 products. I started at least 200 to 300 bucks. And the methodology is because if I put out a smaller offer, I will get more of the people who are in this current tribe. And I know you're like, well, get that money, Glendon. No, because they're not good customers. They are people who are desperate. This is one of the reasons that I craft my offers very carefully. Look, if you're in debt, don't buy my course. If you have credit card debt, if, don't buy my course. If you're homeless, don't buy my course. I don't want those people to buy my course because they're looking for magic jelly beans. And part of the messaging and part of creating a compelling offer is to draw the right people because the offer has to be good enough to create the audience because the audience are aka the marketplace is everything I'll give you an example my last blanket offer hustle camp about four months ago 99 dollars i think i had 12 14 people sign up for it but that was past my threshold because there are some metrics that I have. Like if I can get 10 people to sign up really quickly, usually it's a winner and I've just got to flesh it out more. So I got 14 people to sign up the first day. This is clearly a win. And then I went through it and I started to build it at the, under such a cheap price point because that gives me a lot of freedom. Now, I've got the offer built. I'm putting it out and I realized that Oh, this isn't going to work. But once again, I only have like 20, 30 people. Not a big deal. So I make some changes. I had one person unsubscribe and ask for a refund. Then the blanket offer metrics is a way for you to test your concept, to test your ideal, then to sharpen it a little later.